This video will show you how to enable the Ethernet IP communications on the CVX series controller in order to communicate with a Micrologix or SLC PLC. The first step is to go to the global settings when you're in setup mode on the CVX controller. As you can see here, we're connected with a remote desktop using the Vision terminal software. But uh, communications and I.O. network. So this is where you set the IP address of the CVX controller. You can see this one's already been set up for our network conditions here, but you would set that up ahead of time according to your conditions, whether it be on the network or one to one. So set up the this is the main IP address of the CVX controller. So that's already been set up, so we'll click OK. Now to enable the Ethernet IP, you also need to go to Global Communications I.O. and then go to Ethernet IP. All you need to do is enable the Ethernet IP which turns on that communication. And if you're using an SLC PLC or Micrologix PLC, you can check the box that says connect to Allen Bradley SLC5. And it automatically sets the data size. There's nothing you really need to change in the data configuration settings here, but if you want to view the input and output assembly tables, those can be viewed here. So here's the receive data. You can click view list and view all the bits and bytes. And then the send data. You can click view list. This is mostly used with the implicit fixed cycle communication with the control logics, compact logics, but uh, you can also view those settings here for this. The next setting here is the decimal point, and this has to do with the data if you're outputting data from a tool like X and Y values and things like that that contain a decimal point. You can choose fixed point, which is the default. What that will do is it'll send the data as an integer multiplied by 1,000. So the number on the PLC side will be an integer, but it'll be 1,000 times bigger. So for example, if it was 123.456, it would come over as an integer as 123456. You can also select floating point if you'd like, and that what that will do is any decimal data will, will be sent as a single precision floating point, decimal point. We're going to leave it as fixed point for now for this example. Under the other settings here, you can select the process priority. As a default, the transmission of data has priority. So if there's a backlog of image processing data that needs to be sent, the image processing may be delayed because transmission takes priority. If you would like the image processing to take priority, again, if there's any backlog of data, but you want the inspection itself to take priority, you can select image first, and then there might be loss of data depending on the situation. We'll go ahead and leave it on the default setting, transmission first. Uh, the handshaking, that's mainly used with the control logics, compact logics, with the fixed cycle implicit communication. There's no need to enable that with the explicit communication with Micrologix or the SLC PLC. So once you have these settings set, you can go ahead and click OK. And it will ask you to save and reboot the settings. So go ahead and click Save and Reboot, and then the system will be rebooted. And when it comes back, the setting will be enabled. Our controller has just rebooted. So now we can confirm our settings if we would like. Global, Communications I.O., Ethernet IP. So if you need to make any further changes, you can always come back and make changes. Uh, duly note, the cyclic communication status says not connected. It will not say connected if you're using a Micrologix or SLC PLC as they do not use the fixed cycle communication. They can only do the explicit message communication. The CVX controller is now ready for Ethernet IP communications. So now you can go ahead and continue with the PLC setup. Um, if you're going to be outputting any data for the Ethernet IP, you do that in the output section. So you can see here we have a basic program set up with a pattern tool uh, for reference. But if you go to output, let's say we want to output the X, Y, theta, and match percentage of that pattern tool. Under the output section, just go to Ethernet IP. You have two tabs here. Bit allocation area is the pass-fail stuff for camera judgments, tool judgments, things like that. So there's an area allocated for pass-fail bits. But the byte allocation, that's where you can output all your other data, like X and Y values, pitch measurements, etc., things like that. So just simply choose byte allocation area, select data, 
and uh, you can see our tool is here, our pattern tool. So I can simply select the tool, scroll down, say I want X, Y, and angle result, I can select that value for the judged label, add that to the list, and if I want the match percentage, I can add that as well. So just simply select and add the items to the list that you want to output over Ethernet IP. Click OK when done, you can confirm that is the what will be sent out.